So now we'll be looking at an example which will help us to write a program to accept a comment from the user and append it to a text file and then display all the comments that are in the text file, including the one that we have just added to the text file. So to create a text file, you can, I will be using the documents folder and you can open notepad and you can save some comments in the notepad and save the document then to the documents folder or you can create a text document right in the documents folder directly by simply right clicking and going to new and then picking text document. This also allows you to create a text document. I will call this text document comments Press enter. You do not need to put .txt. It automatically understands it's a text document because you simply right click and you chose text document. So you open the text document and then you may add, add like three, four comments to it. And then don't forget to press enter on the very last comment so that the comment that we will add through the application will come on the next line. Make sure you save the changes. And close the text document. And I'm minimizing the documents folder because so that we can test after we append the new comment to it. So first of all, let's talk about the declarations. In the declaration, I have to build the path. And in order for me to build the path, I need to know the location of my comments.txt, which I could easily pull by simply going back to the documents folder. I could right click on the text file. And then go to properties. And this is where the document path is. I can select the path right click copy the path push the path here like paste the path followed by the name of the text file okay once that is done i will uh, i already included using system.io so make sure you include the system using system.io because this will help us do file handling now, after I'm done creating the file and bringing the path over, we will be creating a stream writer object so that we can write using the stream, which is the continuous flow of data. So we're going to be uh, grabbing the data from the user that the user will enter and we will push it. We will push it to the comments.txt. So I'm using the stream writer object and I'm calling the file class to open the file for appending. So what is appending? I've, I've already told you that in the comment section here, lines uh, 22, 23. So append is to add contents to existing content without overwriting it. So I will be putting the path over here, the path that I declared on line 17. So this is the file in which I am pushing the data. After that, I will be accepting from user a comment. So as you can see over here um, on line number 18, this is the logic where I'm opening the stream to a pen file, and now I'm accepting from user a value. Once I accept uh, a value from user, all I need to do is I need to now write that value to the file the stream writer is pointing so that is the comment in the comment line that's the value that's going in the stream writer once i push the value into the stream writer all i need to do is i need to just simply close the stream writer and stream writer will then transfer the value into the um, comments.txt Let's test this code this much 
And then we will look at the bottom portion of this code where we need to read the comments back from the user, uh, the, the comments from the comments.txt file. So let's run this. And as I'm running this uh, program, I will be writing a comment. Please enter a comment. And press enter. After that, it does shows comments and an underline, which is coming from line 29 and 30. However, we'll write the bottom portion of this code. Let's first test to see if these comments have made their way through. And as you can see here, that the very last line is the comment that I just in added in my previous run. Now let's try to go through these comments in the same application so that we don't have to keep opening comments.txt. So the first thing I will be doing is I now need to read using the stream reader as opposed to write using the stream writer. So I'm going to be opening the file and I'll be reading from the file. So once I start reading from the file line by line, I can then start processing. So stream reader has a built-in function read line, which allows me to read one line at a time. So I'm reading this line into a string variable str. Now I need to check to see if the file is empty or not. If it is not empty only, then I want to process the data. For that purpose, I could use a while loop in which I can check to see if string is not equals to null. Only then I would like to display the contents of the string. So what this loop will do, this loop will pretty much keep looping Till the str is null uh, is not so if keep looping till str is null so str will be null only if the file runs out of values so when the file reaches the EOF or the end of file that's when the program will automatically stop uh, the, the loop will automatically stop and the control will go outside of the loop but as long as that's not the case it will it will just keep displaying. Now here's one problem. If I leave this program like this, it's going to generate an infinite loop because what I need to do after I display the line, which is not null, I need to go and fetch the next line. So this will allow me to fetch the next line. And after I fetch the next line, I will go back and check in the loop to see if that line is not equals to null. If that line is not equals to null, then I will display the line and fetch the line after. And this process will continue till I reach the end of file. Now, since I'm displaying my comments and I would like to uh, display the numbers with my comments in chronological order, so first comment will be one, the second comment will be two. Right now, that information is not in the text file. I could easily incorporate by log that logic by including a variable of type integer and pre-incremented. So what pre-increment does is it updates the value of the variable before it displays it. So at the start of the program, the I will first update itself to one, and then we'll put a period and a space and we'll then display the first comment. We'll fetch the next value and I'm going to go back to see if, if string is not equals to null, then I will become 2, which is an increment from the previous value, and will display the next comment. And this process will go, keep going till we reach the end. So now let me run this program. So please enter a comment. And then as I press enter, notice the comment that I just put here is also displayed as the fifth comment. So anyway, this example uh, will help you a great deal in preparing for the final exam hands-on because final exam hands-on will be very similar to this one. The context may be different, but the main idea will be the same that I will ask you to create a text file, maybe fill some data in it, 
then write a program to accept new data appended to the file and then read that data back. 